Hello, Bobcats. Brad Shoffley here. Going to look over how to submit your exam grades when you're on Skyward. So we're going to talk about how to get those final exam grades submitted. For right now, in, no, in December, as we record this, it's going to be for those semester courses, but it'll also be used for all courses during the end of the year. So if you have a CFE, uh, EOC situation, then that's how we're going to submit the grades right now. So at the top of this page, we'll see teacher access, of course. We'll go to My Gradebook. And then you're going to pick one of your class periods that has a semester exam or an exam that you need to enter. So we're going to click on this three-dimensional art course and we're going to go right here. And then once we load this class, we should notice that we have a new column for final exams, FEX. So final exams grades are going to go here. So we're going to go ahead and hover over that options button and click enter final exam scores. This is all fairly straightforward. So once we're here, we have the full list of students, and we can just enter the scores for the different exams right here. So we just enter those scores, put whatever grades the students might have gotten. Um, one thing you will notice is that if you try to put something below 59%, it will warn you that that is not going to be an acceptable grade, and it will automatically change that. So per policy, you cannot get below a 59, so that's going to be overridden to reflect that new score. But you're going to enter that score. It'll automatically change if it's below 59. Once you're done with all those grades, you're going to go ahead and hit Save. And that will save those scores. When we get back to the gradebook category, we will notice that we now have a final exam score and a final grade score. So it takes that report card too, averages it out with that final exam, and then gives us our final grade for the term, for the course, uh, since this is the end of the semester. Obviously, once you're done with this, you still have to post the grades like normal. So you'll hit post grades and go for report card two. When you get here, you'll notice that that final exam will also show here and it will calculate that final grade again. So all red means it hasn't been saved. So we'll go ahead and hit save and that will save those students grades. Once you're done, that's it. And then you'll follow the typical requirements for submitting grades and running the final exam verification report, final grades verification report, and you'll be set to go. As always, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at bradley.shreffler at ocps.net, and I'll be glad to help you out with any issues you might have. Until then, hope you guys have a great Bobcat day.